Hi everyone, this is our second set of tutorials. The objective of these tutorials is to go through the example, uh, what we've done during the class for the road design. We need to go through the main steps for road design. Uh, I'll go through these steps uh, one by one. Uh, this will be an instructional video for you guys, just to review what we went through. Just try to go through these steps one by one. Uh, practice them. If you have any problems, write them down or if you have questions, please write them down and we'll go through them during our lecture next week. So the road design objective that we're going to achieve is a road, a, a proposed road between two existing roads. These are the two existing roads here. So if we look at the 3D view of our surface, This is the objective of our design today. Simply we have these two existing surfaces, uh, existing roads. This is the road, the first one. And this is the second existing road. And our objective to design this new road between them. Uh, the objective we know from the client that this proposed road has to be about 90 degree to the existing roads. That will create a good design for the intersection. It will allow for a good sight distance for any car entering to the intersection or exiting from the intersection. Uh, the same thing for the intersection with the other existing road. We're trying to make it as much as we can at 90 degrees. Uh, as you can see, the proposed road that will create areas of cut, like this area here, uh, other areas of fill around the valley area of the existing surface. Uh, this is our objective today, how to design the road step by step. So if we go to our standard drawing what we agreed to save as a template for our work if i open the template one of the main things that you should do at the start just save as a new drawing save as a drawing let's call it the raw design save it within your documents save as a drawing Tutorial 2, I called it for myself. You can just call it the raw design or any name you choose. Press save. Now at least we're working with the uh, actual drawing and Civil 3D will make an auto save every 10 minutes. This is the setting. It's already entered to Civil 3D. So for open and save, we'll make an automatic save at every 10 minutes. That will give you the chance just in case anything happened, the software will crash or anything, at least you've got a copy that you can go back to. Uh, it's always very important, guys, just to save whenever you remember uh, at very small intervals that will protect your work. So the first thing for our design for the road, uh, the first part we will discuss is the surfaces. And before we'll be able to create a surface, obviously we need to add points the survey points or the survey data we got from the surveyor so the first thing we need to insert into our drawing is the points and we do that from the home tab and we go to the points point creation tools the last one on the right hand side import points will ask us for the file which is the survey file from the surveyor we will have these files on our computers the second thing will ask to specify the format of these points. We know the formats from the format from the surveyor. It's the point numbering, easting, northing, elevation, and then description. So we'll choose that format, and that shows us a preview of that format there. The point numbering, easting, northing, point elevation, and draw description. We'll go to okay. We'll give it a second. As you can see, it's still working. We go. So we've got the points now into the uh, drawings. We can close from here. We don't need it anymore. Uh, as you can see, we can't see the points here. So one of the things that you can do, you can press Z E for zoom extent. If I press enter, it will take into the points, but I'll show you a different method. What we agreed in our first tutorial, we can just right click on the points and we can say zoom to. That will show us all the points. Uh, 